remains defiant, does Arsene Wenger. Questions, though, persist. Let's put some, shall we, to David Pleat, who will be at the Emirates for us tonight. Jim Beglin will describe the action at the San Siro. David, first of all, on Arsenal, hearing from Arsene Wenger there, I wonder if he is trying to keep hold increasingly of his young stars. Does the rest of this season matter that much to whether they stay or go? Well, I think that Arsene is buying time and it has to be diplomatic. But as I've said before, there's no gain without pain. And Arsenal are in this stage of their progression now where there are some very young players who need a little bit more time to become just manly enough to compete and beat the Chelsea's and the Manchester United's. Um, they've been very prudent. They've got a philosophy here. They know exactly what their plan is. You know, and this wonderful stadium has taken a lot of money out of their finances, but they do do things properly. They know about income and expenditure. Jim, they need to be patient, clearly. I wonder how patient the fans will be in the absence, in particular, of Cesc Fabregas. Do they stop creating opportunities as they do when he's not available? Well, I'm, I'm sure they do. I think what they've also lost, apart from his probing and his intelligent passing, is the speed and the guile from wide positions to create chances, because that's often when the balls that are delivered to the goal scorers... Oh, David, in answering the question that I'd thrown to Jim, someone's yeah. cut you off. So why don't I ask Jim the very same question? Jim, Fabregas, they miss him, yes? How much? Oh, hugely. Um, no doubt about it, once he got injured, um, it was a huge blow to Arsenal season. Uh, he's the hub of their team, he makes them tick. Um, I also think that we spoke about this earlier in the season, Flamini has been a huge loss for them. A lot of other factors that have gone into it, but um, I think you've just got to trust the man. I think you've got to trust Arsene Wenger, because when big names have left in the past, like your Vieiras, like your own Rees, Perez, Bergkamp, he replaced them, you know, and he moved Arsenal on. I think you've got to trust him to do it again. Maybe they won't be patient enough to wait for the kids to come through. I think he probably does need to spend a little bit more and a couple of combative midfielders wouldn't go amiss. To the Inter game tonight, Manchester United. Do you think Marino's, Marino's got to any of the United players? It, we know the mind games that he plays. Do you think he's infiltrated a little bit of that confidence? I'd be very, very surprised, really, if uh, any of the Manchester United players are influenced by what Mourinho says. We all know he's got a great record against Alex Ferguson. I think Mourinho really enjoys that being mentioned in the media. I don't think Alex Ferguson loses any sleep over it, Robbie. But, um, no, I think Mourinho's just out to try and G his own players up. And he is a master at that. He's a great ego booster. He's a great motivator. And I would expect this inner side to be fired up tonight. I think they know they have to go to Old Trafford for the second leg with something decent. And I expect them to have a go at United this evening. Jim, I loved the story, I don't know if you heard it, about at his time at Chelsea, he once apparently interrupted Frank Lampard halfway through a shower to tell him he was the best midfielder in the world. That is the, the, the way he gets, if you like, under the skin of his own players. I wonder how much, though, of the mind games is for his players and how much is for us and the fans. Yeah, well, I think he did that with Frank Lampard. We know he's done it here recently with uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, the striker who we've not thought who's done really, really well when he's played against the English teams over the past few seasons, certainly last season against Liverpool, he was very disappointing. Um, he said he's the best player in the world. Well, I mean, tonight's his chance to show everybody that, you know, he is right up there and he can do the business. Vidic is out, we know O'Shea and, and Evans are in. Um, he's got to fancy it with Vidic out, he's got to have a go. And I, um, I don't know about being the best player in the world. I, I, I don't think he's quite that good yet, but, um, but certainly Mourinho does know how to get the best out of him by just telling him these things. It happened with Frank Lampard, and his game kicked on. It did indeed. Thank you very much to Jim and, of course, to David Pleat. Cut off in his prime. We'll attempt to recover what's left of Pleaty for kickoff at uh, a quarter to eight. Now, Dimitar Berbatov took a while to find his feet at Manchester United. He can still look a little aloof at times, but he scored a good few winning goals for United of late, and of course, he makes it all look so simple.